So hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel i hope you guys are doing great and today's video i'm going to talk about how you can create that kind of text filling with water animation using the blender and i'm just going to use the flip fluid add-on for this creating this kind of animation basically that's very easy and cool trick so i thought i should share with you guys so i hope you enjoy this tutorial and if you do please make sure you hit the like button hit the share button and subscribe to my channel also and here you can see guys uh this is the our uh, solid mode here you can see this is what it is it is looking basically and this is the final output here you can see after the uh, adding the shaders basically okay i have used some uh, lighting glass shader from the blender kit so you can also use it i am going to show you uh, which shader i have used it basically so you can also use the same textures and shader so now without any further delay let's get started tutorial so first of all what i will do i am just going to open a new project file and here i'm just going to add one text pressing the shift a first of all i will just go to my front view and i'll just do a line as a view so that text automatically will be facing uh, according to the basically uh, view then i'll just go to edit mode of this text and pressing the tab then i'll just uh, write the text like blender you can type anything but right now I'm just giving you an example so i'm just taking text as a blender you can take anything you whatever you want to write you can write it and from here you can change the font as well so i'm just taking some thin uh basically some thick font so which is like great for holding the fluids then i'm just gonna right click and do convert to the mesh first of all then i'll just do right click and set origin to 3d object something like that then I'm just going to press the shift S and I'll just do selection to cursor and keep object. Then I'm just going to edit mode of this uh, blender section. Then I'm just going to press the E and extrude it something like that. All right. So our basic uh, setup is almost ready. Now what I will do basically, I'm just going to press the N on my keyboard and I have already installed the flip fluid add-on. So here you can see we have uh, that flip fluid add-on dialog box here. So I will select my text and I'll just create, uh, okay. And I will just click this uh, create domain section and that will automatically set up the whole fluid setup for us. Now what I mean to say like whole fluid setup, like it will automatically create this object as an obstacle here you can see and also uh, enable this inverse option and what is does this inverse option basically it is holding the fluid inside the object and if you not enable this option so that might be chances not might be that is definitely your fluid will not hold into and inside your basically object so whenever you are creating any kind of animation where the fluid uh, is inside some object so you have to enable this inverse option first of all so now what I'm going to do basically, I'm just going to move this domain a little bit upward, something like that. Then I'm just going to exit from the edit mode. Again, I'll just add one cube pressing the uh, tab shift S. I'm just going to scale this cube, something like that. And I'll just place this cube. Oh, basically, I'm just going to scale it. Yes, I think that is enough. Okay. And that will be our uh, fluid part. Okay. That should be inside our domain something like that i think that look nice now i'm just going to apply the scale first of all on that cube then i'll just add this cube as a fluid yeah so now here you can see guys everything is good to go now what i will do i'm just gonna enable this auto load bake option and i'll just create okay and i will just click this bake now here you can see guys our fluid is perfectly floating inside our object and which is look nice by the way that's look great but right now we don't have uh, much resolution into our fluid that's why it is looking so much bubbly and like a uh, little bit uh, flickering outside the object so it doesn't matter whenever you just increase your um, uh, resolution of your fluid that problem will be solved i will gonna show you how it will solve basically so right now what I will do basically I'm just going to increase the resolution at least 128 that is the minimum resolution you should bake it at least for a little bit of a, like a example render basically okay so I'm just going to hit the bake now here you can see you will get a better and perfect aligned fluid and I'm just going to tell you if you need a perfect and uh, more uh, realistic fluid you should 
definitely increase the resolution of this and uh, whenever you increase the resolution that quality of flute definitely will be increased also yes all right guys here you can see now everything is look good to go now here you can see our flute simulation is almost done and looking nice to me now uh, we'll add some shader into this uh, section so for that what i will do basically first of all let me just finish this bake it is almost about to finish and here you can see how cool it is looking by the way and one more thing you can do it with this like you can uh, animate the whole text like you can just add some keyframe into this and make some up and down and like shaky animation and if you create the animation and then you will you have to just enable this uh, export animated mesh also then you will also see that fluid is like floating inside this object as well so like it's totally up to your creativity so right now i'm just giving you this example how you can do it now here you can see this is the final render that's look awesome by the way it is not exactly but it is like up to mark okay because uh, if i will just increase the resolution definitely it will take a lots of time to finish it and that i don't want basically that's why because if it will take a time so like i can explain you more so right now it is enough for me now what i'm going to do basically i'll just move to my uh, like materials parts so first of all i'm just going to hide this flip flute because that work is finished now now i'm just going to my uh, what we can say rendering mode and i'm just going to add one plane here pressing the shift a and i'll just move this plane downside something like that i think that's look awesome okay after that i will select my text first of all then i will just go to my material tab and here i'm just going to add one glass bsd of material and uh, make sure you just decrease the what we can say uh, roughness but make sure you just select the correct one because right now we have selected the wrong one just select this one and add the glass psdf then just decrease the roughness and also ir should be 1.333 okay so that is the like fluid uh, like fluid and glass ir okay same thing i will do with this also i will just do glass psdf then i'm just going to decrease the roughness and also decrease the ir little bit yeah so now here you can see everything is look good to go now what i will do basically first of all i'm just going to add the black color into the background something like that so that look little bit dull right now but it's okay i will just increase the metallic and going to decrease the roughness so it will look something like that first of all i'll just make totally black and i will just going to increase little bit roughness of this then i'll just go to my um, blender kit section and here i'm just going to search light glass and after search that here you can see we will get one shader this is the shader basically i'm just going to select this one and i'm just going to add this shader on it now here we go guys i think it is showing some error let me check it okay so there is some error issue basically just let me fix once so okay so all right guys this is the final output and here you can see this is what it is looking by the way and that's look awesome so that's how you can create a fluid inside the text using the flip fluid add on that's very easy and cool trick so i thought i should share with you guys so thanks for watching this video guys if you learned something from this video please hit the like button and the share button and subscribe my channel also if you have any queries if you have any please let me know in the comment box i'll definitely reply a comment so bye bye take care stay home guys and love you all